NCAP is publishing the results of a series of new cars, among which the electric plug-in Nissan LEAF, elected World Car of the Year 2011. To achieve high results, a car manufacturer faces a number of challenges. The three challenges um, is obviously protecting the occupant, uh, protecting the high voltage circuit and protecting the battery. We've got a triple layer approach to that, you know, in, in terms of um, absorbing the energy first, then protecting the battery and then making the battery itself strong and able to withstand uh, the, the final impact. The five-door electric car is able to manage crash energy in the front without allowing intrusion in the occupant compartment. Nissan housed the battery pack below the rear seat compartment to keep the centre of gravity as low as possible. With a combination of both the, the body and the battery pack strength, we'll be able to maintain um, electrical and also structural integrity. The first mass-marketed electric vehicle underwent full-scale crash tests, including frontal, side and pole, along with pedestrian, whiplash and ESC tests, and earned five stars overall. To get five stars from Euro NCAP, new cars now need to be fitted with ESC as standard across the range. The LEAF comes with electronic stability control. After the series of tests have been completed, the data will be analysed by uh, a team of vehicle inspectors and it's from those physical inspections of the dummies, the dummy data, the vehicle structure that the Euro NCAP rating is devised and uh, calculated. With these results, Euro NCAP is expecting coming electric cars to have a similar or even better safety level.